That's Speaking crazy. of hindsight's 2020, um, hilarious. Cam Newton. Good transition. That, oh that's shit! Just... Yeah, he said hindsight 50 <laughs> 50. Uh, well done. Cam Newton had that quote whenever he was asked about something that went wrong in a football game. And we all remember in the press conferences how cool Cam would always look. Oh, yeah. And when Cam looked so cool and they were playing incredible football and winning, it was like a match made in heaven. You know, this guy's got this fucking top hat on. He's got a scarf on. Mm -hmm. He's got four jackets on, all different length. They all match perfectly. This dude loves his fashion mm -hmm. and appears to be an absolute fucking dog. dog. The way he handled questions, it was almost like he was built for the moment. Mm -hmm. This dude was a defensive end that could play quarterback. Yeah. Had to go to Juco. Obviously, we all remember that because he was cutting bars before a practice that was filmed and maybe the earliest forms of great interneting. Cam Newton mm -hmm. breaks it down. Then he goes to Auburn. Then he obviously win. Then he gets into the NFL with the Carolina Panthers and he takes over that whole city. Yeah. Carolina Panthers become a thing in Carolina again because Cam Newton was there. This fucking freak show athlete who was incredibly charming what? and handsome what? and fashionable what? and still a dog somehow was going to be the next guy. Would go on to win an MVP. Would play in a fucking Super Bowl. Would be able to be a guy that nobody thought would be able to be imitatable because he was different than everything. And some shit happened. Yeah. Some injuries, some mm -hmm. situations, mm -hmm. father time potentially. Mm -hmm. Situations weren't necessarily the greatest, and he was still going in there, not performing what we had seen him do in the past, which was freakish, which was unbelievable. So he's being compared not only against everybody else, but also what he used to be. That was two different types of comparisons happening. And now he seemingly is making a fucking NFL comeback, or he's trying to. Yeah. In Zuba's yesterday, yep. he was at the Auburn Pro Day thrown to his younger brother and others. There was a bomb that we all seen on the internet. There was a promo from Shannon Sharp about Cameron Newton that Ooh. I was incredibly put together and if you're listening to it, you would be able to think to yourself, he's speaking the truth there. Everything he's saying is speaking the truth. But then you think about like Cam Newton. And you think to yourself, is Cam Newton going to go out like he went out in New England? Mm. And is Cam Newton going to sign up to look like that Cam Newton again? I'm not 100% sure that's the type of human he is, but I don't fucking know the guy personally. So he has to have some sort of confidence. He has to have some, some sort of thought yeah. that he'll be great. Is he a guy that's just going to think that way for the rest of his life, you think, Pac? Or is this really something potentially because he is bigger, stronger? Yeah. How old is he? 30 what? 34, yeah. 34, 34 years old. We got 40-year-olds playing. We, he's in great shape, right? He is obviously a guy. His body could potentially play a style of quarterback if he had the skills to do that particular style of quarterback while also being able to be Cam Newton. There's people that have been very much older than he is now that have been able to accomplish that. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think, like, what, what do you – getting in the door is going to be tough, but just as a player, what do you think? Um, as a player, you know, I don't know. He, uh, he's – to me, uh, it's, it don't add up. You know, we got guys that are playing at MVP level last year that's not even – Getting paid two years ago. Two years ago, I think he's going to get paid. No. He was hurt last year. MVP he didn't have that. Well, he still played. He yeah, when, when he was when he at, played, number one, he played at an MVP level. Got it, got it. Um, Cam haven't played in two years. Um, yeah. I seen the one deep ball. I also called around and asked how did he look to a couple of my buddies that was there. Um, and they say he overthrew a couple balls, and a little rusty. they don't know if 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 that's the same Cam that they seen before. So me personally. Um, That's tough. I would you sit think it down. he's going to think like this forever? I would, I would sit it down if I was him. Um, I know Cam is a high competitor. Um, he loves to compete. But um, I don't know. I, I just know He's definitely not going to go and be in backup. Um, I think whoever get him would have to be a backup bro. Um, it's not too many teams that are bringing guys that haven't played in two years to come to be the starter. It's interesting. Un un yeah. un un unless you – it's an interesting situation because he's a dog. We all just uh, we just yep. laid out how he is, mm -hmm. which is why we loved him. Yeah, which is but why you got to be Aaron Rodgers, arm scrum. You got to be Tom Brady, arm scrum. Yeah, you got to throw. You, you got to be uh, Lance Armstrong. Uh, Strong. Uh, uh, what's what's your boy? Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. Bingo. My strength to come back uh, for two years. Eli Manning. Eli right, right. Manning. Like this is it's not it's not easy as what. We making it. Yeah, the throwing aspect of it, the super elite mm -hmm. throwers, 
are the ones that are seemingly being able to last longer because they can control the amount of hits that they have to get and they can still have success that people want to keep them around. Mm -hmm. So like the style of play that can last whenever you lose your mobility is obviously one. And then also you have to have success in doing that style. And it's not just a style that everybody can be successful at. It's not everybody like Joe Burrow is like such a thing because if you and Patrick Mahomes, whenever he throws 90% of his passes from inside the pocket, <laughs> mm -hmm. they're like 16 and overs. I, I forget they what win. the number. He can, he's an end. You got to be elite arm talent, I think, yeah. to play mm -hmm. like extended amount of times because cheaper to go younger yep. normally. Mm -hmm. um, younger is longer. Okay, uh, younger has the mentality of like just wanting it still, not already having it. Mm -hmm. Like, so you can get people that kind of sell themselves away from signing Cam Newton potentially, I think. Just if you think about it from a, how they're viewing the whole situation. Well, but damn, I don't want to see this every, I don't want to see this. Tough. I love Cam Newton, man. I don't want to see like every single year we have to come out and say like, no, he's not the right guy to be in the NFL right now. Hey, look. If, if he want to keep trying, I'm all for what he want to do. Okay, as um, long as he's happy. T.O. did the same thing. Yeah, still. He, he still said he want to play, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know why T.O. still want to play football, but. <laughs> well, he is. I see him. Hey, he yeah, played fan craze football a little uh, bit. Hey, did he, call it, did he catch? Uh, he may have caught. Yeah, yeah he, he caught one. one. Caught a game winner for the uh, Zappers. Uh